Hey guys, how you doing? Oscar Gonzalez here from notagarage.com. Glad to have you on. I'm going to show you how to add the clarity.fm widget to your WordPress blog. Now you must have your own hosted WordPress blog, so wordpress.org. This does not work for wordpress.com at the moment. So what you want to do, or go to your clarity name, and then add slash widget at the end. Notice how I have that in my address bar here. And click enter. <clears throat> now, of course, you have to have a Clarity account and all that stuff. I'm assuming you already do since you're looking to add this to your website. So, this script right here, this is all you need. You need to add this wherever you want it to show up on your website. Now, if you want to add it on to a sidebar, for example, on a WordPress blog, it's pretty simple. You just have to go to your appearance tab and then widgets so click on that on your website if you have WordPress once you have your widgets loaded what you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of your list and look for the text widget so it's going to be in alphabetical order and you see one right here called text and in this case, I'm going to put it into this primary sidebar, okay? So I'm just going to click on it and select primary sidebar. You may have other sidebar names or different ones. So select the one that you want to use then click on add widget. And now it's going to put it at the very bottom. So what we're going to do is go back to the Clarity website. Make sure we copy this. That's the widget code. And then we're going to paste it here. Then, we're just going to click on save, and we're going to go look on the main website, wherever we display that sidebar, to see if it's showing up. So let's go take a look. So if we go to the main blog section, for example, we can scroll down, and towards the bottom we should see the widget. There it is. Now in this case, it doesn't quite fit perfectly, but that's something that you have to adjust on a case-by-case -case basis. Ideally, it would fit on every website, but maybe they have to adjust something, or maybe you have to adjust something. But now at least the widget's on your website. And once this is done, then you can ask your designer or ask somebody for help. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. That works uh, for WordPress.org only again. And if you have any other questions, leave me a comment, ask me a question. You can also find my Clarity profile, so if you want to have a phone call with me, just go to my link on Clarity. It's down in the description, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.